So, we finished that mission, Scars, which was sequence for mission four. We are now heading into the next mission. Oh, that was a fucking mistake. Oh, God damn it, what are you doing, wall runner? Should have just ran the pathway, it would have been better. So, we're going inside. We've been brought into the Templars now. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? There we go. And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Is that guy Kenway or whatever his name is from uh, Assassin's Creed 3? The one that just initiated us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Abstergo. Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Sorry, but this is a restricted area. When there was loads of computers the first time we came here, like these pads, iPads and shit, or whatever you call them. We need to unlock the next server, Numskull. iPads lying around. It's collectibles. No 
I don't know how I'm gonna check in. We need to unlock the next server, Numskull. Pants laying around. No. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind. He was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Restore the server. Just imagine an Assassin's Creed game. This is what I was looking for. Just imagine one set in nowadays with actual guns. They're basically like a third person shooter. Just to keep you in the loop, I heard back from editorial this morning. The story itself is untouched, but this is going to be the menu text for the Haytham Kenway future. Devoted patriot, celebrated scholar, loving father, exclusive to Helix, witnessed the rise and martyrdom of one of the American Revolution's least known heroes, a Helix exclusive. I think it fits perfectly with the title you've chosen, The Lone Eagle. Hatham is going to appeal to a wide audience, and his story is going to definitely give to people, going to give people a bad case of the feels as those internet kids like to say, oh my god, I'm old, aren't I? Yeah, it was Ken, right? Uh... Edward Kenway or Haven Kenway, whatever his name is, at that uh, in the last video, well earlier in this video, when uh, Come on, Sh you've come Shay is promoted into the, uh, the Templars. Don't lose your momentum, numbskull. Get to the next server. Puzzle games again, is it? That was quick. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell He had one arm. When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Abelin de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism.
Didn't it say computers repaired 7 out of 20 or some weird shit? Animus is now. The first civilization entity known as Juno re-emerged from the Grand Temple in New York in December 2012. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the Abstergo cloud. To accomplish her goals in the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as a sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the First Civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true, that they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. I do not trust them, but for now, all I can do is have the Costa monitor their activities. Juno's motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent da Costa fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, a fusion of humanity and machines, Juno would become unstoppable. Ironically, it is Abstergo itself which is driving civilization in that direction. I've got to fix the computers to see if there's one in there. No, so they all must be in the other levels. Oh, look at that picture. I need to play that black flag next. I don't know if I'll play it right after this. I might look for different games, style game to play next. Move, numbskull. I've got the next set of Shay's memories loaded up and ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. Okay, look, another computer.
ist schön. Fucking hate how annoying this shit is. Oh, we got it. family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Tempera cause. Under the influence of Warren Finnick, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al-Mualim. Haras. Ali Sel Tradat. Baptiste. Duncan Walpole. Haytham Kenway. Lucy Stillman. Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Shay Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. I fucking hate these.
Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the Sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma Team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Bank's team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Gramatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me there. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. Alright. Let's find our next computer. It's 10, it's fucking 20 apparently. I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Where else? How about now? No? Mm. Now? No. Shit. Why isn't this working? But have you tried it, though? No, the story's told in rhyme. It doesn't sound like my thing. Right, let's go How back now. Without even playing it? So glad I went to university for this. Access those other computers now. No. Whoa, this place is a fucking disaster piece. There's no way. Get into those computers. Oh, 
I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Isn't there? Yep. What two? That was quick. Given the nature of our current investigation, I have been looking at other assassins who, despite themselves, have helped the Templar cause. The first is Clay Kazmarek, who infiltrated Warren Vidic's Animus Project in Rome. He became the project's Subject 16. Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest. Driven mad by overexposure to the Animus, he committed suicide. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre Animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17 to further the search for an Apple of Eden. He managed to escape and uncovered an imminent threat to the planet. A solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world. But it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17, and his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us. Let's go to the other computer now. I'm sure we'll be visiting um, Abstergo again to get the rest of those computers at some point. It is 426 on December 13, 2012. The briefing of Sigma Team's Cairo operation. The briefing conducted by Abstergo Psychiatrist Tibor Hashek, Level 7, and Director of Operations Leticia England, Level 9. State your name and rank for the record. Juhani Otzelberg, service number OP114-8506-B, Master Templar. How would you classify the result of your Cairo mission, Master Berg? I would call it a complete success. The new Sigma team performed admirably. That's going a bit far, don't you think? The target William Miles was apprehended and the first civilization artifact was retrieved. Both were handed off to Warren Vidic without incident. May I ask how you would rate the mission? We're pleased with the results, but not with the methods with which you achieved them. I see. May I ask why? You went off mission. You were supposed to apprehend the target at the airport, not at the museum. When the target emerged from the plane, he was posing as a tour guide for a class of high school students on a field trip. A member of Sigma team informed us you aborted the mission then and there. I will not deny this, but tell me, who talked? I cannot reveal that. No matter, I will find out on my own. Back to business. 
The target was very smart, but also very sloppy. Explain. The target possessed advanced counter-surveillance techniques, but lacked the skill to implement them properly. The target was trained as an assassin since birth. I am aware. However, it has been many years since he was an active field agent. He must have been very desperate to go himself, as these days he is more of a talker. A puppet master. And what are you? A predator. A predator who defied orders because of the presence of some schoolgirls. I prefer to think of myself as one who can choose the most opportune time to strike. The last time I followed orders to the letter was in Florence. That did not end well for anyone. Was it that? Or did the students perhaps remind you of your daughter? I separate my work and personal life completely. Your daughter's recovery has been remarkable. I do hope her progress continues. Please, don't. I beg your pardon. I find your attempt to threaten my child vulgar and unnecessary. Explain. Abstergo's pharmaceuticals have given my child a chance at a life free from pain. And I have at last found what I believe to be my calling in life. And for that, we expect obedience. For that you have my loyalty. The involvement of the children in Egypt compromised the original mission. Nothing more. We already have one Master Templar that we can barely control. I don't like the idea of having two loose cannons out there. With all due respect to Master Cross, while he is gifted, he is mentally disturbed. We mean no disrespect, but after losing your team in Florence, we felt a need to keep a close eye on you. I achieved all mission objectives, and achieved them without bloodshed. So my only question for you is, am I in command of Sigma Team, or not? As you said, the results were impeccable. Then I believe this meeting to be at an end. I request permission to leave. Do you have something more important to do? I am going to find out who among my team talked to you. I will not tolerate that kind of insubordination. I think we can stop here. The briefing ended at 4.34. Transcript to be sent to Alan Rickin for security clearance. Now I believe that's all the computers. And there's eight more, but they're in rooms we can't access. So... Get to those four, five. So there's five we can't get to, so time to get back into it. Shit, what's happening? Another glitch. Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. 